everyone was so sad that Buster Williams had passed away. I said, everyone, that's not quite right, but we'll get to that in a minute. You see, Buster Williams was a young man in the prime of his life, and he had died so suddenly and so mysteriously. But that wasn't the only reason that his friends were sad. They were also sad because Buster had died during one of the hottest summers in Texas history. They thought, mm, mm, mm. Poor Buster, buried in that cheap suit, in that cheap coffin, in that shallow grave, because that's all his wife was paying for. With that hot Texas sun beating down, <laughs> his flesh was going to bubble and boil. And when the rats and vermin chewed into that coffin, they were going to nibble on him like he was some kind of happy meal. Mm, mm, mm. Poe Buster. But there was one person at the funeral who didn't seem to be sad at all. And that was Jamie Sue Williams, but Buster's wife, not his widow. She sat through the whole fun funeral like this. <laughs> the funeral that very same evening she went home she took off her funeral clothes and she put on her hey ho hey party clothes and she went on down to the dew drop in the local dance hall and she was hanging out real tough with Willie the piano player you know what I'm saying some you do and some you don't and that's okay <laughs> well you know people talked about her oh that's not right she's not supposed to be acting like that her husband's body's still warm in the ground. That ain't right. Somebody else said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't Buster have a real big life insurance policy? Mm-hmm. Seemed like Jamie Sue hadn't felt like waiting for natural causes to collect on that life insurance policy. But Jamie Sue paid him no mind. Every night she was down there at the dewdrop end, mm, 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 mm. Shaking it with Willie. Well, it was months after the funeral. Jamie Sue was in her place getting ready to go on down to the dew drop in. She put on her red spray on dress. Mm hmm. Put on silver high heel shoes just like the kind Dennis Rodman used to like to wear. And she was in the mirror putting on her face when all of a sudden she heard this sound. Jamie Sue, Jamie Sue. I'm going to be dancing with you. And she looked around. She said, that's Buster's boy splits, but he's there. I'm just hearing things. I'm just hearing things. And she grabbed her purse, and she started strutting on down to the dew drop in. Now, let me tell you something. Didn't nobody but nobody strut like Jamie Sue. When she walked, bam, bam, bam. Her hips popped so tough, you couldn't walk on the same side of the street. She'd knock you over. Well, she's strutting on down the street. All of a sudden, she hears this sound, like somebody dragging a foot, and then that voice again. Jamie Sue, Jamie Sue, I'm going to be dancing with you. And she looked around, but there was nothing there. But you know what it's like when even though you don't see anyone or anything, you know that there's somebody or something that's looking at you. And she said, ah! and she took off running with them hips pop, pop, popping all the way. She was knocking over trees and cars and carrying on. She got down to the dew drop in. The place was packed. The joint was jumping. People were whoo, whoo, having a good old time. And after a little while, Jamie Sue forgot about all those sounds and voices that she thought she heard. Around midnight, people started leaving. By about 2.33 in the morning, everybody was gone except Willie and Jamie Sue. Willie put the deadbolt lock, crossed the door, sat down at the piano, started playing those special tunes with Jamie Sue. You know what I'm saying? And Jamie Sue was like, oh, Willie, you're so, oh, oh, Willie. Mm -hmm, oh. All of a sudden, there was a knock at the door. Don't try this at home. I'm a professional. <laughs> Willie said, we closed. Come back tomorrow. There was another. Knock at the door. I said, we closed. Come back tomorrow. All of a sudden, that dead boat lock slid open by itself. And then that door <laughs> creaked open. Ain't I good? 
Willie and Jamie stood their mouths <laughs> dropped open. They gasped so hard they just about sucked all the oxygen out the air. Because there, standing in the doorway, was Buster Williams. Or I should say, what was left of Buster Williams. The rats and vermin had been nibbled away on old Buster. With a little flesh he had left was just sort of dripping off his body. He only had one eyeball that was still in his head. The other one had out and like dangling there. He raised a bony flesh dripping finger and pointed and said, Jamie Sue, Jamie Sue, I'm going to be dancing with you. And he started coming across the room. Now the reason he was limping like that, he only had one foot. The other foot had been chewed off by the rats and they were back there in the graveyard playing stickball with it. And as he came across the room, all kinds of creepy crawly things were crawling out of his mouth and his nose and his ears. And there was little mice inside his ribcage having their own little party. He came across that room, grabbed Jamie Sue by her arm, looked at her and said, Jamie Sue, Jamie Sue, I'm going to be dancing with you. Now, what do you think Jamie Sue did? <laughs> she wished. She screamed. Give me a scream. <laughs> you just been grabbed by your supposed to be dead significant other. There's creepy crawly things creeping and crawling. And I think the smell is a little funky too. Give me a scream! <laughs> and Willie just sat there. <laughs> Buster started pulling Jamie Sue up. Jamie Sue looked at Willie and said, Willie, Willie, you better help me. Willie said, I don't think so. You better help me, Willie. And he grabbed Jamie Sue's other arm and tried to pull her away from Buster. But Buster looked at Willie with that one eye, <sighs> breathed that old funky breath on him, gave him a look, made his blood run cold. He let go of James, whose arm like it was a hot potato. And he said, piano man, sit down at that piano and play a dancing tune. Now you know, Willie did not feel like playing no piano, but he couldn't help himself. <laughs> he sat down, started jamming at the piano. Buster looked at Jamie Sue and said, dance, Jamie Sue, dance. And she couldn't help herself, and she was, mm, mm, mm. Oh, she was working it. And then Buster started dancing, too. If you could call it dancing, because there wasn't that much of Buster left. <laughs> Mice and maggots flying every which way. This went on for a couple of hours. Willie and Jamie Sue were getting tired, but Buster was having a good old time. Boy hadn't had any aerobic activity in a while. One time he spun around, arm popped out of socket. Another time, he had a James Brown flash of inspiration. Went down, did a split, came back up, left one of his legs on the floor. He had one leg and one arm, and he was working it. Well, Jamie Sue tried to keep from stepping on Buster's bones, but those bones were everywhere. And every time she stepped on one of those bones, it ground in the dust. She got an idea. She said, Willie, I want you to play that piano real fast. I'm going to dance Buster to dust. Willie started playing faster and faster. Buster started dancing faster and faster on the low, that one leg. All of a sudden, the lower leg broke up. He's on his knee bone. He's working that knee, working that knee, working that knee. Then his thigh bone broke up. He's on his butt bone. He's working that butt bone, working that butt bone, working that butt bone. Bit by bit, Mr. Buster broke off. And every time a bit of Buster broke, Jamie Sue would dance on the bones. Did the running man on those bones. Moon walked on those bones. Some of y'all know about this. Did the mashed potatoes on those bones. Until the only thing that was left of Buster was his head. And that head was rocking. <laughs> Jamie Sue went over to Buster's skull, grabbed him by the little head left of his head, held that skull up. He looked at her with that one eye and said, Jamie Sue, Jamie Sue, I'm going to be dancing with you. And she said, no, you not. Dancing time is over. And she took that skull and she whirled it around and around and around and threw it against the wall as hard as she could. <laughs> but Buster was a hard-headed individual. <laughs> that skull hit the wall, hit the floor, rolled back, right back to her feet. Jamie Sue, Jamie Sue, I'm going to be dancing with you. No! She grabbed that skull and she drop kicked it. Bop! Hit the ceiling, hit the wall, hit the floor. Boop, 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 right back to her feet. She let out another scream, give me a scream. <laughs> Took off running out the door. 
Buster Skull started rolling and bouncing after Jamie Sue, and every now and then that skull would bounce up and say, Jamie Sue, Jamie Sue, I'm going to be dancing with you. And that was the last that anyone ever saw or heard of Buster and Jamie Sue Williams. And that's the end of that. <laughs>